Um, Bayer has been around uh, when it comes to bee health for, for over, well, coming up for 30 years now. And uh, that program uh, of, of being, uh, being aware of and, and, and working to improve bee health is a combination of both Bayer crop science and animal health. And uh, I guess, Annette, you, you sort of epitomise that uh, transition between the two. Annette is also a qualified vet, for example. Anyway, uh, amongst other things, uh, Annette is going to talk about how we see things moving forward, uh, especially in terms of engagement. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jules. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's all about expectation management, right? <laughs> Um, we, we really appreciate that you still take the time to stay inside since the weather is so nice outside. We hope that by the end of the afternoon you will say, yeah, it was worth it. Um, I don't want to talk too much now anymore since I think, as uh, Jules said earlier today, our bee care program and the idea of engaging with various stakeholders is not about talking to you but having a conversation with you. So that's really have some time afterwards to um, have more of a fruitful discussion. Um, but I think maybe just the two talks that we had um, earlier gives you already some indication of how complex the topic of bee health is. And um, as Andrew uh, mentioned earlier, if you have a complex subject matter and if you then just try to find an easy explanation usually it's not the right one. And this is perhaps what we are doing in the BKS care centers all day, shouldn't say night, but basically throughout the year. It's trying to address questions, concerns from those people in stakeholder groups who may not have access to all the data that regulatory authorities may have, who may not have that in-depth understanding of LD50 values and all the scientific study uh, setups that maybe some researchers would understand, but still, who do have concerns about the health of bees, and at the end of the day, of whether there is sufficient pollination service available in the world to safeguard our food supply. Because I guess most of you are familiar with this yeah, may I say a alleged quote of Albert Einstein who said, or should have said, that if bees would have been dying that four years later human mankind would be gone. Please do give me, do me a favor, he never mentioned this, so please do not um, refer to Albert Einstein for this. And then this goes back to the question that we had earlier today about, okay, but if honeybees were just brought into the uh, Americas in the 1600s, so how could then yeah, how would they have then survived? And this is simply because there is such a whole uh, variety of pollinators that can do the job. Um, that's the reason why it's not as critical. Nevertheless, there is a really, really um, great advantage of, of honeybees, which is simply they are domesticated. You can move them where you want to have them for pollination service. And for that, it's incredibly important to preserve their health and this is also an area where we as a company are active to um, find solutions to help in um, um, achieving this. Um, just a very few words on if we talk about um, the Bay of the Free Care Program, what do we mean by that? In fact, it's just, a, how should I say, a new label, a brand for something that Bayer has been doing already for decades. For those of you who visited uh, Trübchen yesterday, you've seen there the apiary, um, which is yeah, basically designed for more than 100 bee colonies, and this had been set up in the 1940s. So since that days, and before of course also, we were involved in bee safety testings and in further developing those. And on the other hand side, if you look into the history of Bayer Animal Health, something which is not really known to many people, because you wonder why this exists. Um, Bayer Animal Health has been developing bee medicines for almost 30 years now. Um, this goes back to all of the pressure from various parasites and diseases, what we discussed earlier today. And the idea of a bee care program is simply to join forces internally 
but to get then the um, support and the collaboration power of those um, external parties on that can really contribute to certain areas because we are not the experts in reading the best um, uh, B strains. We are certainly not the experts in how to deal with foul root under various uh, beekeeping practices. We may have some competencies in the rollout. We certainly have a lot of expertise in pesticides, but that doesn't mean that we should not collaborate with those which are 